Good morning, YouTube. My name is Alexander with High Winds EDC. This is my brother, Sonny. He is my protege in the EDC world. Anytime I get a new knife, he's one of the first people to know about it. Um, probably one of my biggest fans. So uh, this is Sonny. Sonny, say a few words about yourself. Uh, like he already said, I'm his brother. I'm Sonny. It's my first knife will be with him. It's going to be pretty fun. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm ready. And let's get into it yeah let's get into it today we're going to be doing a review of the benchmade vector okay this is a knife i've had for a little while now but before we get into that how about a little bit of a pocket gun so for me um i had to go to work early this morning to clean up after the texas tech homecoming game um uh, we have the game on saturdays so sundays we come in early to uh, pick up sandbags other guys will come up and pick up trash and all this other stuff but um I'm gonna show you what I carried this morning for work and what I would carry on a Sunday. Um, so first things first, we wake up at 5 a.m. so we can get there by six. So what I need first thing in the morning is a flashlight to check. Make sure tires aren't, are, 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 are not flat. Make sure that we can get into our lockups and everything and this comes in handy. This is the Olight Warrior Mini 2. All right, Sonny, you can go ahead and handle that. See how you feel. Yeah, I like it. It's, it has like, a really good texture you can really good grip won't slip out your hand it has a really big clip it's, mm -hmm. it's nice it go into your pocket easily go yeah. way deep in there easy to pull out it's really nice i like yeah. it cool i like the color um i was it was between this one or the orange one and uh white goes with more so i uh, just went ahead and went with that store trooper one wallet of course is the valley leatherworks minimalist front pocket wallet i love this um, Hope McGlone of uh, uh, Valley Works Leather Works of Valley Leather Works. Um, she's taking a hiatus, and that's perfectly fine. Everybody's gotta, you know, take a break from something. But I really hope to see her again soon because I love this wallet. Uh, I'm gonna go go ahead and put this one right here. Let's see what else I had. As for the knife I had this morning, this is a new to me knife, and I'm gonna carry this one for 30 days. That's my new challenge to myself. This is the Spyderco Shaman. Shaman. Uh, I'm going to carry this one for 30 days and, and come back to you with a 30-day review of this knife. Uh, I'm really happy to have it. I actually got to buy it retail at a local knife store. So very, very thankful to uh, C&D Blades here in Lubbock, Texas. Uh, if you want to go ahead and try and flick that one open. Mm. There it is. Second try, y'all. Cool. I like the scales. It's you like nice. the scales? easy to grip onto yeah it's kind of big but not that big for sure for sure um that's a, i'm glad i have this one in my pocket this morning because um you know we, we we're picking up sandbags and the sandbags that uh are just kind of run down i'll just slice them pour the sand out spread it out on the ground and this was a good knife to have i had every confidence that it was going to do uh, the cutting that i had today very well um and it's so we go to work obviously i was telling you about the keys these are my work keys just i uh, wish i had another way of carrying them but that's it uh, take a look at that if you want to but all my personal keys obviously my key fob my glow rhino pry bar with the tritium insert this is the blue tritium and then of course whenever i bought my olight warrior mini 2 came with this i spent a certain amount of money and it came with the uh, olight uh what is this one the, IR I1R2 EOS. So cool. I like this little thing. Uh, I only used it once. I'm thinking about taking it off the keychain and probably giving it to my lady. So that way she has something on her keychain. So, all right, let's get into the review. Like I said, we are reviewing the Benchmade Vector. All right, this is Benchmade's 496, their nomenclature. Yeah, 496. So let's talk a little bit about it. Um, let's start from bottom, work our way to the top. Okay, so it's got a deep pocket carry clip. It's got two back spacers. It's got green G10 scales with a white liner on the back side, and it's really cool. So on the inside, there are I, I believe that stainless steel liners I can check right now yeah that's st stainless steel liners 
and on the inside you're not going to be able to see a lot of it but you can see it's milled out on the inside just to lower some weight we got an aluminum bolster now on the aluminum bolster with benchmade it has the spring assist uh, mechanism on the inside which is really cool i don't go for spring assisted knives i have one automatic it's a boker kalashnikov and i love that knife because it's just a button lock real easy in and out of the pocket um so whenever i first saw this knife this was considered to be my grail knife now a grail knife for those of you who don't know is a knife that you think you're never going to get this is my first one and this one was a gift to me from my girlfriend she got it for me for um valentine's day and i've had it ever since and i love this thing because i just read reviews on it weren't a whole lot of youtube reviews on it um, there are a lot of overviews, but no reviews of how good it was of a knife. But, so now we're going to work. It's got our access lock here, and it does have a lock on it. So whenever it's in the locked position, it's not going to flip out. And that was really, really uh, a selling point for, for my girlfriend, because uh, we have two uh, kids now, and... Um, if I leave a, a knife on the nightstand, I can lock it away and I don't have to worry about the kids coming up, picking it up and, and messing themselves up with it. So it was a good safety feature. I know a lot of you do not like locking knives and that's okay. I like this one because it's a, it, 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 it's good for whenever I have the kids around and I'm gonna leave it on the table or something like that. I know they're not gonna get into it, right? Um, so, it's all obviously a flipper, a spring assisted flipper. And I like how small the flipper is. It doesn't catch in the pocket. Uh, you don't feel it at all. It's, it's awesome. Now we're gonna talk about the blade. The blade steel is 20 CV, great blade steel, but it's got a compound grind and a recurve blade with a drop point tip. Now, what we're gonna talk about a little bit is this recurve. I feel like this is a very underrated knife in the Benchmade lineup. I don't get to see a lot of people with it. And whenever I see one on Instagram or on Facebook, I'm one of the first people to comment and say, man, that's such an underrated knife. I love mine. I use it all the time. When I first got this knife, I didn't take it out of my pocket for like two weeks. It's not a fidget friendly knife. Don't get me wrong. I can't just sit here and, you know, that spring is going to hold it in place. But I don't know I really like this knife and whenever I saw it on the shelf for the first time I was like wow I uh, that's that what is that and they showed it to me and they showed me it was an assisted knife and everything and I just thought I'd never be able to purchase one because at first I was buying you know budget friendly knives like the Boker Kalashnikov and other stuff like that so anyway the 20 CV is really nice and um, when I first got it I would sharpen it on my work sharp uh, field sharpener and it has a honing rod on the side and I was able to always sharpen or hone up my uh, the recurve on this so I never really had a problem with it and I love it now that I have the work sharp precision adjust sharpener um, the flat part of the of the stones is skinny enough that it doesn't leave a gap on this recurve so now I can take an actual sharpening to it and, and, and pull off more material than just with a honing rod and that's awesome to me and obviously the flat part of the tip right here super easy to sharpen um, and it, it's really just great for a little bit of prying um, uh, or, or stabbing into uh, full sandbags and stuff I know sand's not really gonna hurt steel especially 20 CV but it's really good and I like the 20 CV because it's especially stainless and I sweat a lot throughout the day so I'm gonna let Sonny hold it, and I want him, I want you guys to get first and first impressions from a new knife comer um, who's kind of young in the industry and kind of see what he thinks about how it feels in his hand uh, compared to me, because I kind of got a little bit of experience doing that. It's it's light. It has a small pocket clip. It's it's compatible for your pockets it's something yeah. that i would carry for everyday use uh, it flips open smooth and yeah. it's really nice i like the scales that's 
one thing yeah, that pointed like, out to me. A very, a very pretty color. I love OD green. Um, I try to keep a lot of OD green around and, and that kind of stuff. Um, one thing I do want to talk about is it has a natural leniency. You can kind of see it, 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 it angles and tapers down like into your pocket. So whenever you go into your pocket and you set it right here, this is kind of how it sits in the pocket way off and to the right if you're carrying it in your right side pocket. Same thing with your left, obviously. It, it just, I can't think of the right word, but it tapers into your pocket in a very neat way. And that's, if you can take a look at the shape of this knife, it's in a bow shape. And I love that. I don't know why, it's just a nice curve. And one of the, one thing that factors into it is that it sits right in your pocket um, in, a, in a very, I guess in a, in a tucked away manner. So another thing that I wanted to talk about was when I first got this knife, the lock stick was awful. You can still kind of hear it, that, that first little click. Now it's just sliding back and forth, but whenever it clicks, that little click is lock stick. Cool. But uh, I put a little bit of graphite in this little area and that seems to lubricate it just nice. Um, I would take a pencil and I'd scratch in there and then it would just get rid of some of that Loctite for me. That, not Loctite, that lock stick for me. So anyway, like a very underrated knife in the knife community. The knife centering is uh, favoring the show side a little bit, which is okay with me. I don't care, this is my user knife. I use it, I use it a lot, I wear it a lot. You can see the wear on the pocket clip. I love this thing. I'm very happy that I have it. Um, let's talk about functionality. Okay, you can go ahead and play with it, Sonny. And on the functionality side, I really like uh, a compound grind. I have a Chavez 229 uh, Rendition, and um, that knife is ha has, a, has a very prolific compound grind by, by Riyadh. Um, and this one also has a compound grind. It's got a flat tip, a flat grind tip, and it's got a recurve right here, and it has this swedge on the top, and that swedge is to, I don't honestly know what it does, but on the on the back side, it gets real skinny right here. It's almost like a second blade. You can kind of see right there, turn it around a little bit, but then the tip becomes very robust. So that way, if you have to do a little bit of prying into some wood or whatever you're cutting into, you've, you've got a little bit of confidence with the tip and it's not going to snap or anything like that the flat grind, like i said the flat grind is great for stabbing into things and not having to worry about oh man is it going to break on the on the way in or on the way out or anything like that but then we get to this hollow grind recurve right here and it is amazing for slicing whenever i get into something and i get uh what is it a quarter of the way through past the tip it just goes like butter it's so smooth and I love using this thing. The ergos, like I said, so I have a very, I have relatively small hands, but I'm able to really choke up on it. And I can give you a little bit of a size comparison to the Shaman. They're roughly the same. Uh, it sits a little longer. I'm putting it tip to tip right now. And I'll put it butt to butt for the most part. And now I'll do it from, I guess, lock up to lock up, mid to mid. So you can kind of see it's 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 a very large knife. The Spyderco Shaman uh, is uh, comparable to the um, Spyderco PM2, which I've had before, um, but it's definitely a little bit more robust uh, in the in the inside. I like how my finger comes right here, and then I've got plenty of room on the on the end for just a good good purchase. Um, I think this is a very underrated knife. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. I have talked with a couple of um, custom scale makers on Instagram, and I'm looking at getting these overlays on the on the G10 the G10 overlays replaced, so I can mix and match. I love the OD green, but I recently got a Pena X series dog leg, and uh, I'd like it to match, so I can always swap them in and out. And it looks like they just over are overlaid overlaid onto the liner lock, anyway, uh, the li the liners the stainless steel liner sorry but yeah um let's get some final thoughts from uh from sunny and see what he what he thinks as far as the as the knife goes and and you know, what he thinks about knives in general like what do you what are your impressions on knives 
my impressions on knives are just something I would use for an everyday carry just for like handy stuff work um, stuff that I need to cut up like wires um, just stuff in general that yeah. I would use around the house um, but that knife is um, is very compatible for your pockets I would carry it every day it's it's not too heavy that's right and it's not that light so I would carry it so like in my pocket I wouldn't feel it but I'll pull it out and use it I'll, I would really think that knife is very usable for work anything else that's my thoughts on the knife Excellent. Uh, thank you thank you for your input man um, we can kind of see that uh, you know whenever this knife was made I, I think it got a lot of uh, flack so to speak I wasn't around when it came out so I can't say what the community thought as soon as it came out but I do know that a lot of people um, didn't like the compound grind just off of uh, reviews and stuff which I love I love the compound grind and I love the recurve which is another thing that might have put people off because it would have been extremely hard to sharpen if you didn't have the proper tools if you didn't have the proper setup but um, I'm thankful that whenever I got it I already had my honing rod so it was just really nice to touch up and that's all and and i'm not saying i'm the world's best knife sharpener in the world but i do say that um this is a very handsome knife and whenever i pull it out i know it's gonna get worked it's gonna it's gonna have my back so to speak um and in a self-defense situation which i hope i never have to get uh into um but this is this is a, a beautiful knife. I think it's very well made, um, and it has that butterfly tax for sure. It's a very expensive knife. I'm not gonna sit here and, and beat around the bush on that. Um, but with that butterfly tax, you get the warranty. And I think that's a really good deal. So if this thing ever fails on me or anything, I can always send it back. I don't abuse my knives. I use them as cutting tools. I try not to do any sort of prying or anything like that that I'm not supposed to be doing. I have other tools for that. But uh, my final thoughts on this is, my final thoughts on this are, this is a very underrated knife. And I'm gonna say it again. This is a very underrated knife. Um, I guess for the price range, there are a lot of other knives um, that would be considered better, that would be considered more functional, more utilitarian, and and by all means, that's great, that's fine. Um, but for this one, it's probably my favorite. I'm never gonna sell it. It was obviously a gift for my girlfriend, so I'm never gonna sell it, I'm never gonna get rid of it, and this is gonna be a lifer, I think, uh, I think yeah. So. Anyways, to wrap up, I, uh, I really just wanted to do this video so I can start incorporating my brother in some of these videos. It may not be every single video, but uh, for sure just wanted to, uh, uh, to get a young man's uh, thoughts and first impressions on some of these knives. Um, every time I get a new one, I let him handle it and kind of see what he thinks about it, uh, how, how the lockup works. He's pretty familiar now. He follows some of the same uh, stuff that I follow, but he definitely follows me and I'm always tagging people and stuff. So. Um, just really wanted to uh, get him and get some of his uh, first impressions on a lot of this stuff. But anyways, uh, I really uh, want to say thank you guys um, for watching this video. And uh, please uh, uh, like and share or whatever you guys do. And um, just know that uh, my reviews, they just come from what I use. What I use, in my own humble opinion, I'm an equipment operator. So I, I don't get to use my knife every minute of the day. But when I have one, but when I need it, I'm glad I have one. And I'm glad I have something that I can trust. So anyways, guys, uh, I know that that was a bit of a long review. But uh, again, thanks to Sunny for being here. And I hope you guys have a blessed week. Goodbye.